All right. Good morning, everybody. K Dogs Kennel coming back at you this morning with another episode of my Tomb Raider 1 uh, playthrough. Tomb Raider 1 remastered playthrough, excuse me. Um, we are in the Tomb of Qualipec. This is uh, level 4, and look at, like I said, it's the original 19, excuse me, 1996 graphics compared to the 2024. Um, remaster graphics. Absolutely incredible. Um, so, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger this boulder trap that's up here. Just jump out of the way. Uh, one thing I actually want to do is I want to play with my new shotgun. This is, uh, we got the shotgun in the last level. We come over here, throw this switch, which is going to cause a couple of Velociraptors to come out and play. One shot each drops them like bad habits. So the whole synopsis of this level is there are three gates right here uh, that we need to open to get to the first section of the uh, of the sea or uh, of the. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Scion? Skion? Or whatnot. So, um, that's the way we came in. That's the way we can't go. So, we only have really. Actually, we can actually see uh, the Scion piece. If you come up here to this gate, it sits right there on that altar. Actually, it floats on the. It's funny, in the original, it floats, or it sits. In the, in the remaster, it floats. But, whatever. Whatever. It's all. Gonna get a couple levels of this uploaded to you guys this morning. So we're gonna head down this hall that the uh, Velociraptors came down, and you'll notice we have three different paths to go. I'm gonna start with the bird, just because for me this is a very confusing room. Um, ignore that, and then we're gonna come down here. Our goal is to manipulate these two boxes so that we can get up there to throw the switch to the first gate. So. And how you do that is... Alright, we're going to come up here. Turn to our right, and then there's a path we can go to. Climb up here. <clears throat> Come up here. <clears throat> and this this has always confused me, like why you have why you do this. Instead of going that way, you come this way. So you can see the switch in that corridor there. But you drop back down here, which looks like you're in the same spot, right? Like we, that we started. Let's see, there's that. But it's different. For some odd reason, it's different. Because then as you round the corner, look, oh, wow, now this is a switch. Manipulates that box there. And then we're going to come over here. And throw this switch that we bypassed earlier. And maneuver that. Here, oh, barely. Do a run, jump. 
And notice how now that box is aligned enough to where we can just do a run jump in here. And throw the switch. And that raises the first gate. So there you go. Now when you leave here, be very careful because there are spikes on the floor. So do it just a running jump there. And now we can leave this room here. Oh god, hi. That scared the crap out of me. Um, it doesn't matter which one that you do next. I mean, we have to go through all three rooms, so... In this room... Uh, we have a box two. We gotta push this box twice. Push that box twice, and then we have another box here we push once. <laughs> Run over the breakable floor to the second switch. That raises the third gate. Now, you want to be careful on the backtrack because there's spikes down there, so just do a just a quick jump forward, grab, so we don't fall into said spikes. And last but not least, go into here. I didn't even look. We have three secrets, eight pickups. Me. Don't bother with that switch there. Uh, come down here. And there's going to be three wolves that come down here to try to wreck your day. But don't let them. They're only wolves. We need to get out of here. Um, there's a block here we've got to pull out. So something has been asked of me, and uh, as everybody knows, I have done a couple live streams of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, um, which I've decided to kind of put on the back burner for right now, just because it's being it's being so it's being streamed by so many people right now. Um, so the question came up. Um, K Dog, you were doing Final Fantasy VI prior to. Um, when Tomb Raider, the uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary Collection came out, or Tomb Raider uh, 1, 2, 3 Collection came out, um, have you given any thoughts of going back to it? Um, and the answer to that is, I have, actually. And I think that's what we're going to do, is go back to my, uh, and also uh, Big Baby J30, uh, another member of the FTCC uh, gaming community, uh, it was voted upon for him to start uh, his playthrough of it, uh, which made me think about it more and more. So I think that's what we are going to do is to go back. To, I have to just kind of go back and look at my playlist and see where we left off. I know we left off in the world of ruin, but but yeah, that is uh, my plan. So all right, so with all rooms done, we can now go back to the main room uh, that's where came out. this is where the gates were right here so we're gonna go down this pathway all gates have been raised so yay and have a dart trap ow and actually here ow 
We can climb up here and get behind this statue. We can grab more shoddy shells. I'm actually going to save it because the uh, there's another secret down below. What you want to do here is just turn, drop down. Shoot me all the way left. And somehow you'll fall just inside the spike. So come down here. This is the, the next secret. That should be all of them. Nope, there's... Oh, no, there's... Okay, yep, I know the last one's up. Very carefully walk through the spikes. It'll take a little bit of damage when you leap up. Just make sure you grab so you don't get impaled. And then we're going to make our way up here and around. And there is the Skion. Or the Scion. I'm going to call it a Skion. I don't know. But once you take said Skion, the tomb starts to collapse. So we're going to come over here. Remember how that was locked beforehand? Now we can take this. What I recommend is veering to the right. Because if that debris falls on you, it will kill you. Now, here's the NPC that I was curious about in the last video. But we're going to come down here and we're going to grab our last secret in this little mini cave. Clips, grab the large myth pack. Very, very, very nice. So I missed a pickup somewhere, but got all three secrets. So that's that is neat. I said I'm thinking something to miss. This is not a walkthrough like uh like the uh, like Tomb Raider Two was, but I, said, I just don't know Tomb Raider One like I do Tomb Raider Two. We got this douche nozzle shooting at us. Oh! Crap. I need to fall back in the water. Now he's gonna get some pot shots on me. Or not. Sit down, dude. Well, you have my total attention now. I'm not quite sure if I've got yours, though. Hello? I'll heal and hide you to a barn door yet. Of course. You and that driveling piece of the ski on. You want to keep it so bad? I'll harness it right up your... Wait. We're talking about the artifact here? Damn straight we are. Right up. Hold on. I I'm sorry. This piece, you say? Where's the rest? Miss Natler put Pierre Dupont on that trail. And where is that? Ha! <laughs> you ain't fast enough for him. So you think all this talking is just holding me up? I don't know where his little jackrabbit frog legs are running him to. You'll have to ask Miss Natlin. Oh! Thank you. I will. Alright, there we go, guys. Tuma Qualipec. Um, like I said, super short level. Uh, now, in the next video, we're going to be doing uh, St. Francis Folly. That is uh, level 5. And the first of the, I want to say Egypt levels, but no, Egypt's not till later, but Greece, I believe.
Is it the one by the scale and elevator? Relocated now to St. Francis's Folly, new temptations torment me. Rumor amongst my fellow brothers is that entombed beneath our monastery is the body of Tiokan, one of the three legendary rulers of the lost continent Atlantis, and that with him lies his piece of the Atlantean skill, a pendant divided and shared between the three rulers, which curbs tremendous powers. Powers beyond the creator himself, my toes sweat at such possibilities, lying so close to my mortal self. Each night, I beat myself rid of these fantasies, but it is indeed a test. Pierre, you litterbug. All right, and that leads us, ladies and gentlemen, into St. Francis Folly which we will do in the next episode. So I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you would, pretty please. It does help the channel grow. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode of my Tomb Raider 1 Remaster playthrough.